While many people are celebrating love on this Valentine's Day, a museum in Croatia marks the end of it all. Welcome to the Museum of Broken Relationships. It's there in the capital city and full of nearly 5,000 items representing failed pairings. Things like notes, jewelry, toys, stuffed animals, seemingly minor things, but they all tell a story of love lost or love that wasn't meant to be and love that never should have been in the first place. One woman said this diet book, a gift from her now ex-husband, was a big red flag. Curators say this is really not about trying to be a downer, just honest. This is a museum about love. Uh, we just may have a different view on love when it's over. Interesting concept. If this is up your alley, you can share your own stories or send in your own failed relationship mementos on the museum's website. It's brokenships.com. The family of a woman who died after a Chicago police SUV rolled over her is one step closer to a multi-million dollar settlement. Chicago's Finance Committee approved the deal today. CBS 2 Charday Gray is live at City Hall with what this means. Charday. Well, Erica, the Finance Committee had long-winded discussions on other items, but for the largest settlement on today's agenda, there was no bickering and no questions were raised. Just a unanimous vote to approve giving Martina Stanley's family $3.25 million. Uh, no questions on this one? Not one question for... Our last settlement is Settlement 8D, which is Forestine Williams, an independent as an independent administrator for the estate of Martina Stanley versus the city of Chicago. This settlement culminates a tragic chain of events that started November 13, 2019. Martina Stanley was run over by a Chicago police squad car in 2019. Body camera video shows officers did little to help her as she was pinned under the car for about eight minutes before paramedics arrived. In today's City Council Finance Committee meeting, Alderman Jason Irvin immediately made a motion to pass the settlement. Alderman Irvin recommending do pass. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Chicago taxpayers would be on the hook for $3.25 million to compensate the family because of police misconduct. We're, we're all concerned. Uh, you know, we ask these questions in these cases just to understand and make sure that we're doing right. Uh, by the taxpayers at the end of the day. Like Stanley's case, a woman who suffered traumatic brain injury and died three years after she was struck by a CPD squad car. It's definitely in our interest and in the family's interest and the city's interest to move as quickly as possible to get these items so the family can have the closure they need. Alderman Irvin says it will be discussed tomorrow at City Council and he expects it to be approved. Reporting live at City Hall, Charday Gray, CBS 2 News. Charday, thank you.